Hi guys, this is Dan. Welcome to Ango Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And for those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. They mean the world to me. If you're interested in supporting the channel in that way, uh, please feel free to go over to patreon.com and choose a subscription level. From there, you'll get the daily forecast a day early. You'll also get special readings that are only available over there every month, depending on the subscription level you choose. Another way of supporting the channel is in any of my unboxing videos, if you're interested in purchasing a deck, uh, in the video descriptions, there should be video, uh, uh, links, Amazon affiliate links, which allow you to purchase the deck, and I get a small percentage of the sale from Amazon. You can also... Uh, Find my wish list in the Facebook uh, on the Facebook business page or in my Facebook group, and purchase decks for me from my uh, uh, wish list and send them to me. They'll be decks that will get used on the channel, or you can book a private reading with me. If you have any questions on how to do that, you would message me at the Facebook business page, and I can answer those questions for you, or you can just book through there. Um, I can walk you through the process. It's pretty easy. This is the forecast for the general collective. So this is going to be a broad spectrum reading intended to reach a lot of people. Therefore, I will speak in rather broad terms. It's originally created for, oh my God, what day are we on? I think we're on Thursday, correct? No, we're on Wednesday the 10th. Oh, wow. Okay. This is for Wednesday the 10th, the midweek uh, of February. Um, it is not necessarily solely set for that date. It is uh, a message for the highest good of the greater collective. Therefore, when you see it is when you're supposed to. If you're seeing it on a date that's not February 10th, that's okay. Continue to watch the video. Maybe it's gotten its way to you just in time. If things don't make sense in the video, nothing's wrong or broken. It just might mean you might be working on something different at this time, and that's completely acceptable and fine. Uh, for those of you that it does fit or these uh, things do make sense to whatever you might be dealing with or feeling in your life, know that any decisions that you make in your life uh, after what, having watched any of my videos, those decisions are solely your responsibility. Always use your own highest intelligence and intuition when making those decisions and never take anything that I say over that of a professional in their field, like a doctor, a lawyer, um, a therapist. Always listen to them first and foremost and take uh, you know all of that into account uh, before anything that I say. And then again, using your own highest intelligence and intuition when making your own decisions. Now, let's get into this and see what the cards want us to know. Okay, interesting cut. Oh, wow. So we have the Two of Swords. Interesting. This is peace. In this deck, the Two of Swords always indicates sort of indecision. Did we not see this? No. I think we saw this last week. We did. All right. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of Swords energy going on this week. I feel like this piece is the oncoming of that Ace of Swords that we saw for the midweek, right? Which that card would indicate sort of Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even as late as Friday, but let's say Wednesday, Thursday. This piece to me feels like maybe boundaries are being drawn for us. We have seen that Devil card twice this week. It could mean that we are drawing those boundaries around a situation or person, uh, something that is not giving us a lot of peace or ch is challenging us in a very major way. We might be actually sort of drawing those boundaries, these two swords crossing over and piercing through this flower. To me, the flower is in a different position than yesterday's three of swords, but what's going on here is that the flower is upright it feels empowered to me right it also feels like those swords are sort of protecting that flower uh, a lot of times the uh, two of swords can indicate indecision but in this deck to me it feels like there's maybe a clarity or this is the beginnings of the clarity that should be coming in that ace of swords card in that ace of swords card that we saw for the midweek right so i would be um, looking to uh, areas where we can draw boundaries where we can make clear definition and deci decisive decisions right um, if we need to say no to certain situations this card is definitely always representational to me i would know but those no's should place ourselves first they should um you know be accommodating us don't be spreading ourselves too thin. Does that make sense? We want to be attaining this peace. 
uh, it's certainly mentally too, like maybe not partaking or giving in, uh, or giving our thoughts or our attention over to things that are just a waste of our time or just burning us out, right? That's uh, kind of what I'm getting from this uh, card. Let's see what the clarifiers have to say. So the first card out is the four of discs. This is power. Fours to me indicate um, stability, right? Four legs on a table. But to me, this feels like almost a blockade. Like this feels like good, nice, firm, grounded boundaries. For those of you that need them, this would be the day to put them into place. I like that both of these cards feel sort of solid. They feel stable. They feel like me first, no one else. I like the earth energy of the pentacles. Um, I like this black sort of rim around here. To me, this speaks to that idea of staying, maintaining a balance, something productive moving forward, sort of, uh, let's say, um, uh, pra in, in, in it, with an air of practicality to it, right? Even with this two of swords, there's not a lot of room for mistakes or uh, uh, doubts or anxieties. It looks like we've cleared that away. We're trying to move forward in a productive, calm, balanced manner. That would be the four of uh, um, pentacles or the four of discs. The word is what? Power? So finding our own personal power, finding our own strength, finding our own ability to sort of also maintain the peace that is represented in the Two of Swords. I'm, I'm okay with this today. I kind of like these uh, coming together. Also, that orange around the four indicates this sort of maybe a sense of vitality, warmth, kindness that we maybe show to ourselves and make sure that we have uh, going on. We have this eight of cups. This is indolence. We see this cup a, a card a lot. This is actually the end of the week cup. Uh, end of the week card, uh, the main card for the end of the week. It's interesting that we're seeing in the um, clarifiers, the end of the week cards that were showing up, they keep kind of uh, doubling back around to sort of prepare us for what's coming. The Eight of Cups can mean sometimes uh, in more traditional decks, it's about sort of stepping away from a situation that we're no longer willing to give our emotions to, right? That we're no longer willing to say, maybe fight for or be stressed out by or be challenged by. With this card, I want to read this again because I just, sometimes these this deck has different meanings. The Eight of Cups is indolence, abandoned success, declining interest, temporary success, instability, misery, transience, which may lead from material success. I don't, I kind of feel like this is telling us to sort of move on, if that makes any sense, to maintain the peace, to find our own personal power, and to step away from situations that are no longer giving to us anymore. Don't be like sort of the indolence idea to me. I think of the word indolence and it's like, I don't want to move. I don't want to make any decisions. I don't want to do that. But I don't think that's the answer here. I think what the answer is, is to be clear and be defined, to use our power to obtain, like sort of to pursue this peace, to draw those boundaries, to move ourselves forward, to no longer give to something that maybe is just draining us dry or not giving us any, um, uh, uh, hope if that makes any sense and then the last one is the prince of wands i'll take it the prince of wands would be he's like one of the high court cards similar to in the position of like the queen of wands even though this deck has the queen of wands to me the prince of wands would be the sort of youthful air of fire or the youthful sort of attribute of fire i would say this would be quick movement this would be uh possibly decisive thinking this would be listening to uh, maybe a higher call or uh, something that's coming to us on from spirit this is going to be about wanting to take action wanting to move things forward I like this with the steadiness of the Four of Pentacles in the sense that whatever decisions we are making, they better be for ourselves first and foremost. Um, if by the end of this day, we've sort of made the separations or we've made the come to the emotional conclusion that we can no longer give to whatever it is that we have been giving to in the past, it's time to sort of move away from this. We've been seeing that devil card a bit and I find it interesting because I feel like that devil is all about fire, right? Because of hellfire and brimstone, but the Prince of Wands is also about his own version of fire. So some of this means like is giving me this idea that maybe some of us might be meeting our own devils 
or our own demons with just as much power and fight as they may give back to us. Does that make sense? Like to me, the Prince of Wands, Wands being that element of fire, he feels like he could be like ready and up for the challenge to sort of take on uh, whatever might be standing in our way in the version of that devil card, remember? Because that was also part of the underpinning um, uh, the clarifiers for that Ace of Swords, right? We're trying to get clear and away from something that is no longer serving us. Each one of you is going to be something different. Today is that day to really start to define how we're going to do that, go about it in a practical manner, and then take that action. You know, emotionally maybe mourn a little bit. That could be the indolence too. Emotionally mourning some of the loss or, um, you know, the, the sadness that might be around we don't want to do this anymore to ourselves or to others. So, you know, feeling that emotion, getting comfortable with that, and then taking the movement through the Prince of Wands to move yourself forward in sort of fiery, desirous action, right? Listening to our spirit, our higher self, and 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 moving that, um, moving ourselves in that direction towards the clarity of this Ace of Swords. Uh, here is the grounding stone for today, and I love it. I'll take it. It's inspiration on Malachite, which is the heart chakra, uh, our fourth chakra. This green always indicates sort of healing and this uh, inspiration. To me, the spear in the inspiration is the word spirit, right? The sort of Latin root word of spirit. We see spirit in that Prince of Wands too. Uh, this is about listening to our heart, listening to what we truly know to be true for ourselves and moving in on that. Uh, I love this piece too. The green in the piece card here kind of gives us a little bit of a tie into this inspiration. We want to... To me, I, I, I feel like we want to ground in whatever inspires us, whatever it is that we truly desire. And then we want to start to like sort of only focus on that. Don't focus on the bullshit. Start to move towards it. Emotionally moving away ourselves away from the stuff that drains us or doesn't serve us. Shoring up our sort of boundaries through that four of pentacles and really making a like a, a balanced sort of uh, grounded uh, practical movement towards it, right? Uh, the inspiration will be ideally what drives us and excites us. And if we're listening to our heart and allowing our heart and our mind to communicate back and forth, which would be that Two of Swords card to me, ideally we will find um, our answers or what our next steps need to be. Remember this uh, underpinning stone of this week is also that word courage. Have the courage to go after what it is you want and also have the courage to step away from what it is that you don't want. Even if it's something that, you know, you've maybe been doing for a while or been relying upon. It's like now is the time to make those changes, folks. That's just the feeling that I'm getting. That is your forecast for the day. I hope you enjoy it. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did and subscribe to the channel if you so feel so inclined. Um, hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when I go live. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow to see how this all builds. All right. Have a great day. Take care.